All right, for those just tuning in, we just finished up our matchup, Imperial Agents versus the Crutes. With a final score, Crutes 90. 90. To an Imperial Agent 67. So a couple things. I'm not changing anything with my list. Mm -hmm. I'm not too upset with the loss. I fully realized one of the biggest mistakes I made. I tripped all over myself, and I let myself get pulled in two separate directions. From where I was standing, I started on the right flank. Then I got hit, so I kind of abandoned it, started moving over to the left flank, got hit, so I kind of abandoned it, then moved over, then was trying to cover trying to cover way too much. It just was not was not how I should have been playing that. Um, and then with the crew, with some of the rules and stuff that I'm not really comfortable with because I haven't played the you know how many times are we saying oh we need to meta crew meta game crew you're, for not, the, you're not worried about the the crew matchup of the next tournament you're going yeah, to yeah definitely not unless you're playing them no <laughs> he, might, he, might be, he might for fun it's fun. possible oh my gosh fun the time that goes into it and that's another big thing that that like trying to figure out what everything did that army is exhausting all like you were talking about all the little dice go into that. Yeah. So a uh, squad of 20 crew carnivores, the basic warriors, um, if they're in rapid fire range, if they're within 12 inches, they get two shots apiece. And when they charge into fight, they get two attacks apiece. So that is 80 attacks. Mm -hmm. um, a bunch of strength four, AP zero, one damage stuff that you got to roll it all out. You have to roll it all out because even if you chip one wound off of a tank, suddenly it becomes plus one to hit. And if you bring that, uh, any it could be a tank or anything, but you bring it down below uh, half strength, and then it becomes plus one to wound. And that was hugely relevant. There was a time where I threw yep. grenades, and I needed three mortals to go through to bring a rhino below half strength. And I only got two, so it's still at half strength. So the, the thing is, you can't really skip all those piddly little attacks because they add up, of course. 80 attacks is a lot of attacks, even if you're wounding on sixes. But then once you get a couple wounds through, you start procking off your, your bonuses for the detachment. So it actually you have to do it. You have to roll them all out. So And that takes forever. The movement trains made the movement pretty quick. My movement phases were long. But, man, a 20-man squad rolling out. It's all shooting attacks. And then the fight phase rolling out. It's attacks. It, it's a lot. Oh, yeah. It is. And uh, it, like I said, from my side of it, it was I wasn't 100% sure on how to, how to hit certain things, how to play into certain things. I still felt like I did a lot of good damage. Uh, I was very comfortable with a lot of the damage and how the damage output was happening. I just, I should have stayed on my right flank, kept kept going in there, probably brought the rhinos around, brought more troops in there. Uh, I was able to block you. I was able to slow things down. I was able to pick up units. I even saw it where I should have, where I was looking at the 120 man in the back. And I'm like, as soon as I do this, that 20 man is going to come out and I'm not going to be able to take care of it. And instead, I could have went into it and tried to beat it up a bit. Might have been a decent option, mm -hmm. but I also could have just dropped back and just started to hold that flank and then push into the middle. And that's what I should have done. I should have just stuck with the plan, stuck with where it was going. Um, I think I got a little greedy. I was trying to cover the whole area, especially after last week and seeing a lot better damage output. I saw a lot better damage output again today. I mean, I, the, I think safely found damage from imperial agents we found ways to do good damage from this book mm -hmm. but there i just i spread myself too thin i spread myself way too thin early um and i the score reflects it where it just shows where it's just like slowly but surely it just started to move away uh and some unlucky some unlucky drops in of like oh how much oc do you have where you would have one more oc and some in a spot that I just happened to fail a couple extra saves. I was like, oh, okay, well, I lost the OC here <laughs> in some scenarios where I would have had it. Um, again, you know, like five points here, 10 points there. Wouldn't have taken away from your 90. Might have given me into a more of a 70 column range on some of that. Still not the win. Still way too spread out. But yeah, I'm, I'm still fine with the list and the loss. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, definitely, you definitely beat me down with exhaustion because standing there and just dice and just like, oh my gosh, we're really shooting all of these dice at a halvern right now. Yeah, this is well, what we're doing. He lives with one wound. And I, I get it. One. I get yeah. it. Every dice matters and you do it in a tournament, but man, this, this is the issue I see with Groot. I feel well, like I totally... I think if I were to play this actually in a tournament, I get one of those. They make these dice racks that 
you dump all your dice into it, and then it gives you them in sets of five that you can just grab. So it's like speed pulling out dice, something like that. Because I or use a dice rolling app because it is just a ton of attacks that need to be resolved because they they add up to something. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's a lot of rolling. Like yeah. I said, it wasn't even the movement because I had the movement trays and that was going pretty quick. And I was hustling, <laughs> but yeah, it's just so many attacks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and it gets exhausted. You're like, I'm like, are you done? Are you done? Are you charging now? You're like, no, I haven't well, even gotten through half my shooting. Yeah. Well, even like the crew talks, charger, the rampagers, and the the crew talks riders, they all have two different attack profiles. They have mm -hmm. the actual beast and then the rider, and, and so then you're just you're rolling multiple profiles for the same unit, and it just it adds up to time. So it was definitely a long long game today. Yeah, it's one of those things with like orcs, orcs hit you hard. They, so when they do that long turn with a lot of dice, they hit you really, really hard, and you can usually shred them back, or it's game. Um, and another thing is, like, yeah, in tournament play, like, because we're recording, we play it all the way out through the end. This one we had to play out through all the way through to the end. Um, there was a couple ways that there was things I was trying to do to get back in the game, but, again, I just spread my resources way too thin. Uh, I was trying to do too much on two flanks. I should have like, I really should have just stayed on their right flank with it. And, you know, that's, that happens sometimes, you know, you come off of a big win and you're just like, I'm feeling invincible. I'm like, all right, I'll just burn these crew to the ground. And I've been the one who's advocating to you a lot saying, I think these are competitive. You just need the reps to get faster with the army. And like you said, other tricks that you may have be able to utilize with other tools just to make the entire play faster. No, in the close combat based armies, it's just going to be rough because I get uh, all the infantry and the dogs and the characters into are close all close combat based armies where you're coming in with a horde of two attack, uh, hitting on twos and then getting some of those guys up to wounding on twos when you're twos and threes because of all the damage output. I mean, really, your combat damage is a lot more impressive than you think. I really feel. Yeah, but it's about engagement. So when Blood Angels move 12 inches and then charge uh, versus everything I have moves seven inches and then charges. Even the Rampagers, uh, they only move seven inches and they're mounted, so they have to go around terrain. So uh, it makes things a little bit more tricky when you have to control the engagement. They'll get the engagement on me first. I don't have any fight first or anything. And the fact is that I'm T3 with one wound and uh, six up involves in combat. So it definitely, against shooting armies, they're definitely tricky because they the all stealth. the infantry have stealth and then they all have a five up uh, embalm uh, to shooting. And for all three of my big squads with the flesh shapers in this game, I was able to proc off the five up feel no pains because mm -hmm. I was able to finish units in close combat. And they gave me the feel no pains, which just made them even more durable. But yeah, against uh, high volume uh, close combat armies, it's just going to. It's going to crumble because I won't be able to control the engagement. I have no advance in charge. I have nothing but a seven-inch move and a charge. So. Well, maybe we'll have to try it sometime. I think that you have more play into it, especially after what I got hit with today and just how much. Where you, Yes, you may not have the most dominant fight phase, but you have a decent fight phase and a decent shooting phase. And when you put those two together, if you do a good amount of damage in the shooting and then follow it up with a good amount of damage in the charge, then they're not going to have very much to swing back with. Mm -hmm. So I think they're I think they're there is, I mean there's potential. I've, I've played four games with them now and won all four games somehow. I won a game against uh, Crusher Stampede uh, <laughs> Tyranids this weekend, which are not really highly competitive, but it's a whole bunch of two up save monsters, and I'm still able to do decent damage output. So there's definitely potential. It's just I think in any tournament setting, there's just going to be a bad matchup where the crew just get. Well, I think you know, it's going to be something that can really just uh, something that ignores modifiers. Like a big brick of te like a big ten man brick of Grey Knight Terminators, I think would give some struggle. Uh, one, they have that high defensive profile that you have the AP into, and then two, a Grand Master leading them that says we ignore all modifiers. Then they can just pour, pour, pour shots in there. Mm -hmm. And if it's like incinerators or paladins or some such like that, that can do a lot of damage. I think so. I think something that's going to ignore modifiers would probably be that because then they're going to be able to control a flank but at that same time they have to be able to handle the rampagers because when they charge it, it fight first any of that stuff doesn't matter once that impact damage is done yeah um, the rampagers are nice once they get in there <clears throat> they have that seven inch scout move which gives them some good movement early on but it's just the fact that they only have a seven inch move and they have to go around all the train which makes things kind of challenging yeah. i'm glad i held on to them to later the game to get out there and t deal with the uh 
the death watch, but then because you could counter move during the shooting phase, and I just I can't really get around. I didn't get the charge off when I wanted to. So again, it's about controlling the engagement. If I can get in there, a lot of times these things hit pretty hard, uh, especially when they're getting plus one to hit and getting down to plus one to wound. But uh, it's all about controlling the engagement. So it was uh, early game. I can definitely push up and and you know scout move all over the place and, and take up a lot of board space, which is uh, what we did. I mean, I scored really high on secondaries too. Uh, capped out at 40, but I think I had like 48 on secondaries. Hmm. Uh, 40, yeah, 46 on secondaries. You know, I was capped out at 40. So it scored really well today. So Yeah, you did. You did. And you played a much stronger game. I feel like I played a, my opening was very weak. My early game was very, very weak because uh, I was too spread out and trying to, trying to do too much, trying to cover too much. And then when I was backpedaling, I felt like I was playing better late into the game as far as working with what I had, but I the damage was done early on. So uh, not one of my better plays with agents, just because I think I got a little greedy in there and was trying to try and really wanted to do some damage, especially after last week. So just got to watch that. It's a fine balance. You know, agents does, I do have the damage, but that damage should be to clear and score the points I need later in the game. So in a horde matchup, it's going to be really tough for me to push back on that. I have some of the bodies, but I don't have quite enough guns to really be able to push that way, way, way back. Mm -hmm. So, all right, my friend, I am exhausted. This was a late one. Crude are a very long army to play. Whew. If so, you would have killed them faster, it would have been a quicker game. It's your fault. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we'll say that. Okay. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.